No, please, come back to me. Someone help. My rare imported egg has escaped. Please catch it. Eh. Eh. I'll get you. Oh. Hey. I'll get it. Hello and welcome back to a new channel. We are back with more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Yeah, all right, we're back. And so is him. He's there. Yeah, all right. But last episode, we did not get a Crystal Star or a new party member, but we got to Glitzville because of some shenanigans with the Mafia and the Blimp Ride, apparently, because the Mafia controls the Blimps. Who knew? But yeah, now we're in Glitzville and stuff's going down. I think we're gonna enter fighting tournaments and all that. I know it looks at, but I like the looks of this hot dog. Let's see. Look at that. What? Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm just going to check around and see what the story will progress here. So, yeah. But before we get into that, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. If you do, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're not. It really helps out. Really do appreciate it. And maybe leave a comment too, because that's always fun. That's always appreciated. Because I want to hear what you guys have to say. There's a phone booth. What if I say hello? Nope. All right. Well, this is just a shop. But let's see what we got. I ain't got money. That's something I don't have. So I'm gonna leave. What about Mr. Hot Dog Vendor? A very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed Glitzville's many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only 10 coins. Hmm, I have 11. Mr. Hoggle's neat, meaty work of art refills. Uh, that's not too bad. Ah, okay, I don't care. Now, I can't get that because I tried last episode, so I'm not going to do it again. But we got fresh juice. Oh. Well, hello. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. What's that all you got to say, baby? Come on. All right. Hmm. Eh. You. Uh, all right. I didn't even notice you. Bonjour, Mr. De La Moustache. You also come to this place? Right now, I'm, uh, I am looping with love for that ravishing creature over there. She is a sight to behold, and I saw her first. Oh, she's looking at you, man. Or me. She might be looking at me. No, she's looking at you. All right, now. You got her. I respect that. Okay, I realize I didn't ground pound this, so I'm going to try that. It worked! I didn't do it last time. I made stairs! What you looking at? I want stuff. A power plus P! Wait, that just right for me. Alright, let's go. Let's see what we got. Here we got. Now, why would I want to be on the hot dog? Hmm. There's something I gotta do with that. But I'm not sure what. I don't see anything over there. Huh. Well, hello. So there's a good film. Hmm? Not a bad place if a little on the twatty side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. I changed his voice like... A while. Okay, let's go in. Enough messing around. Mr. Reporter Man. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories for nobody's. Sorry, moving, losing. Okay, Mr. Carrot Man. He's totally a carrot. You see that? You see that corpse? That man's a carrot. He's weird. All right. <gasps> that guy. But this guy. Hello, child. Hey, Mr. My Dad Guy. Where's Prince Mush? What you call me? Huh? You best control your kid. 
Hello, are you Prince Mush? <laughs> Sorry, bub. The authorized people on the past support. <laughs> if you're looking for a see a match, head to the okay. Alright, but what if I go up the stairs? Hmm. What if I do that? Huh? 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 I'm gonna go in here. Oh wow, I can. Was this where I was supposed to go? Were these main doors? Wow. This place is so cool. Hey, Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. Yes, I can see that, Coops. That's right. Oh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Oof! I felt the rock. Didn't feel good. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Ooh-wee, champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? Yeah. You call that a match? Hey, there. Should I do a Macho Man Randy Savage? Ah, uh, I can try it. You call that a match? I ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me. No, no one can. Hear me, I ain't a fighter out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it up, bring it. I'll take anyone on. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt ya. Yeah! Number one, baby! Rock Hawk is the champ! <laughs> it's the belt! Um, you see that, Mario? That's the thing on the shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yes! Yeah! Yeah, it's gotta be. That's a sparkler of crystal star. Um, but what? That doesn't make any much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Well, clearly, they put it on the belt. I mean, that makes sense. It's shiny. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we our move here? Steal that thing! No. Violence is the only solution. We battle our way through the top. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. All you have to do is become a champ and you'll be get that belt in fair square. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got the fifsticuffs and a hammer. So I guess we better get started. There may be a novice sign up some way. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Yo, buddy, you in charge? Not even gonna bother with you. I know you ain't. Mama! Hello. Well, hello there, you big, burly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. Toodaloo. Well, normally when people say toodaloo. Okay, so, Coops, here's a lesson. Normally when people say toodaloo, they're the ones that leave. I wanted you to hear that. Hello. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We made a game. Okay, so, like, these people aren't really good at, like, talking for some reason. Like, no follow-up? Really? After everything we've been through, you kissed me, like, twice, man. Yeah. I feel used. Okay, let's go in here. Hmm. What if I... Shmang on Emma. Hello? Yeah! Oh, hey, sorry. Did I just spit on you? Oh, dude. I'm doing a little primal scream therapy here. Yeah! That is a weird toad. Okay, bye. Hmm. This guy? Maybe you. Hello? Welcome to the Glitzpits. There's a guy over there who will get paid. Wait. 
Boy, it's hard to find a guy that's clean cut and responsible these days. Sigh. I sigh just thinking about him. Okay. These people are weird. Yo, out of the way, Paladin. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Well, what if I talk to this guy, then? Hello. <laughs> What's up, bub? You want to become a fighter? Mm. Well, if you're serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubber's office is just down the hall hallway. You can't miss it. <laughs> Head on through. Well, all right, then. I want my... Coops, I want my stage name to be the Mustachioed Maniac. Yeah. Is, is it all the way down the hall? I'm going to assume it's all the way down the hall. I'm going to go. Okay, you guys got a leak. Like, right here. There's no bucket. That, I, I could slip on that and sue, you know? I'm going to save. Yeah. Look, there's a bucket right there. Just move it up. I want the hot dog. Why is there a hot dog on the ladder? Thank you. Boo. You know what? The hot dog stays. What? A lock? Hmm. I don't trust that. He said it was down the hall, right? Hello? <laughs> it's in my early locker room. Sorry, bub. You can't go in there. Darn it. Why does everyone call me bub? Where am I going? He said it was down the hall. Is it? It's a champion's room. All right, now. Where am I going? I'm getting there. <gasps> what? Have Zan right? Oh, that's neat. All right. Well, where is the? G you said it's down the hall. Is it the one with the lock? The hot dog's gone. Someone stole it, or it faded. Is it here? What's that? You want to be fired above? Yes, I do. Oh, all right, go on, Mr. Grubba. What's that? Okay, you couldn't have had like a sign that just said Grubba. Hello, Mr. Fat Yoshi. Who in tarnation are you, son? I didn't give him a southern accent, but then he said tarnation, and I'm just like, you know what, why not? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you were, and you, your one rude dude coming in not without knocking. I was lost. What now? An athlete? Huh. You want to be a fighter? Yeah. Who we? That do change a thing or two, son. I always got time for an uppercomer. Yep, they play the path to the girl with young fat. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I got <laughs> young fighters all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny. Really? Look at my tummy. It sticks out. It almost sticks out farther than my nose. You're from my taste, but I'll be willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? You darn skippy, I do. All right, all right, son. I hear you where you're coming from. Son, loud and clear. Hmm? When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and found my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. <laughs> All right. Look at my back. Look at my tiny hand, too. Now I can't mix it up and bend the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You're reading me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. <gasps> he stole a dream. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's a winner's say. Eh? Everyone's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You were in here, son? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, man. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on. Coops, don't go business with guys like him. I feel like he's going to try and fight us. The hot dog! It's back! Coops, grab it! Quick! That is a... Those are high sheets. Look at that. Now you like this, pard? Just feast your eyes. Go on. 
This is the champion's room. And that's a Game Boy. Isn't that sad? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get your key to his room. I mean, can I can I change it up? That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself in a life full of wealth and cover the weights. I mean, that sounds nice and all, but... Now, we have the Major League locker room with a lot of contenders here. What do you think, son? Huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally stationary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my father, darn it. Okay. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking on the belt to become a champion ain't an easy thing. No, no, no. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't it be worth it if there were no challenge? I can see you got the fire for it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. I mean, they're just kind of like little black circles, but that's all right. More, more ovals. You, you, get, you got the circles. You're going to be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never seen, been so sure about a fighter. Hmm? Oh, hey, one more thing. You got to sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. You know, the same old, same old, like selling your likenesses, your contract, and your soul. You know, it's all good. Just take a second or two of your time to jot down your name here. Sign me up. Fame and riches away. Soul be darned. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, your Mario ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part. It lacks a little punch as a fighter name. Gimme. Let me see here. Bam! Ooh wee! Ooh! I swear, if it's not the mustachioed maniac. From now on, I'm just gonna be the Great Gonzalez. What? I ain't that a beaut. That's not even close to my name. Dang, if that ain't a stroke of genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in a minute, moment, darling? <gasps> well, hello. There's a lot of varieties and female toads around here. Wait a second, were you the one at the juice bar? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be Peach and take him down to the minor league locker room already. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Glasses. The glass is gonna get so dirty. As you know, you are a contract to the fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Glasses. The heck is this? This is a... The benches has springs! Well, here we are. This is your locker room. It's not good. Someone's been kissing or kicking the wall. Depends on what their face looks like. You're starting in the major, in the minor league, of course, as you've just started your career. If you don't like this stingy room, I suggest you work hard your way up and through the ranks. That's Game Boy Advance. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubbo will then decide who you'll match up against, and you'll have no say in this. <laughs> Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the, okay. Then pick ranked match. Okay. You know what? Just in case. Because I feel like I'm going to have to talk to these guys. But you. What's this? This is a big yellow block. It looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. I can get a bigger hammer. But if you find a more powerful hammer, then look out block. Oh, I'm going to get a better hammer. <laughs> oh, the Game Boy. The Game Boy sound. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. 
What is your command? Ranked match. Where had it, Gonzalez? Ready to get your fit, fist dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They're a little piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, you want to get everyone fired up there? Fired up, though? So appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask me the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle's reserved at this point. You just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent at HP zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough when Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can't get your rank up to 11, you'll get a shot at the Major League. Okay. That's about all you need to know for now. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Okay, then. Hello. Take care of yourself, man. And don't make any rookie mistakes, you know what I mean? I don't. <gasps> Already? That was quick. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, boob. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Thank you for the confidence. Now we will go. Oh, that's a lot of Goombas. Squaring off next, folks, are the meteorite hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammers, the great Gonzalez. The Goombros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How you doing, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! You kidding me, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who's gonna... Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot? That's who. Wayne just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save it time later. Hmm? Hello! Hot diggity dang, fighters. There's a great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late and he's not, like he owns the place. Ho! Oh. Okay, now Gonzalez, listen here. Let me explain the match rules real quick. Have a bonk. What? Well, that wasn't fair. Hey, those ash, those total cowards, those chickens attacked us before the bell rang. Oh, that's it. Come on. We aren't losing that punk's item. Let's waste them. Yeah, I quit your crying, will ya? That was just a little wholesome gift for the rookie. Where's your thank you? Hmm. Appeal. Yeah. Ah, oh, darn. Fine. Ah, oh, darn. Can't use it quick. Do I have the multi bounce? Darn it. I ain't got nothing. Got nothing. You ain't hitting me. Okay, you hit her. But that's not me. Hmm. Here. Yeah. Oh, bingo time. Come on. Eyes closed. Darn it. I closed my eyes on that one. Y'all ain't nothing special. There we go. I'm sorry, were there punies in the crowd? What are they doing? One point for all of that. 
Ugh. The Crick Gonzales wins. Tell me, son, was that your first taste of victory? That battle was savage. That fight was a joke. It was nothing. They did no damage. Listen to this guy. He's like a poet of the arena. I'll tell you what, I just saw folks a oh, whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear from him, folks. Yeah, the Greg Gonzalez. Yeah, me. Not too shabby for your first fight, Gonzalez. You got some promise. Anyways, I'll be heading out now and you go fight. Or you get your five money from Jolie. I get the money. Here's your fight money and five coins, Spencer Gonzalez. Thank you. All right. You aren't going up because you met the conditions. The next fight will not be set up until you select a rain match on the terminal. All right, let's keep going. Feel free to. Okay. Have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Hmm. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight? I'm Ken K, just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? The guys here, are Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you an advice, Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you'd better bomb obey Mr. Crubble's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win, your rank won't go up even if you win the ma Oh. Alright. Yeah, my man has, you know, some quirky speech going going on, but his advice holds up the most of the time. Not just sometimes bomb. Advice is always useful, bomb bomb. Right, man, whatever, anyway. This lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not in the here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed, you'll Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, it doesn't refill star power. That's fine. Okay, cool. And the last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clefter. Those are some sweet purple clicks. Grack, Clefter no like friends with mustache. What? Easy there, Clef man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get the use to him. I will destroy you. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. You need somebody to ask, okay? Oh yeah, almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually, so good luck, man. Okay. Yeah. All right, the match, please. Mm-hmm. The F, the KF, what, what, what was it? Koopas? Hey, it looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man. To the both of us. I gotta get to the bed quick. Huh. Yes. And we sleep. Oh. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. I guess I gotta follow him, bub. What are we gonna do, bub? I'm ready, bub. Oh, yeah. <gasps> One's a paratrooper. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez, and the shell machines of doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the, a uh, the KP Coopers. We aren't gonna lose to the likes of you. Me and my peeps, Gonzales, I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yeah! Oh, yeah. We're ready now. Don't swap partners. Ah, alright. I want you to tattle. But do it stylishly, yes. 
That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa that's slightly different color. Match is four, attack is two, and defense is one. Looks like his abilities are just like any Koopa, so he ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know the King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. Alright. Ooh! Nyaha! Good. Now tattle on that one. And do it stylishly again. Yes. Got a pair of trooper, different color, attack two, alright. Attack the same color to the but garden variety Cooper, pair of trooper. Do the same thing as always, stomp on it, flip it, okay. And zero. My head bonk is pretty effective against it too, come on, so again. Be easy. Piece of cake, easy. Nope. Multi bounce! Nice. Ah, oh, what? Fine. Hooray! I did it. Alright. We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzalez! See? No biggie. Here's your fight money of six coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you. I earned it. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Where do you go? Hello. Hey, way to hand out a beat down out there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? I really hope I do. Another one, please. Yeah, we're good. That's not the battle I want you to peel the crowd at least once, okay? Fans, eat that up. All right. <gasps> Look at it. Ah, uh, I don't have enough things. Uh, I got too many things. That's the problem. Hmm. Oh no, he's here. <laughs> I guess I gotta follow him, bub. Hello! We'll be fine. These bozos! How do I deal with them? For your next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Spike Terra Triplets. Yep, a f a fight to finish with the pokey triplets. We aren't gonna lose to the likes of you. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Get ready yourselves to battle. Ah. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit you with the hammer, see what that does. Oh, hmm. I'm a quick. Okay, good. Tattle. And do it stylishly. Fantastic. Oh, they got four, alright. Mm hmm. Spice totally hurt, you stomp on it. Alright. That's fine, that's fine. Haha! -ha. You ain't a nothing! The heck was that? Hmm. Well, you appeal to the crowd. Appeal. And then do the quick hammer again, because I like it. I like it. Three! Looks like I'm leveling up soon. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What do you expect? We rock. I don't feel like I'm gonna edit the fights too much, cause like this whole thing is just fighting and all that. So yeah. 
Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must keep going. Alright then. Someone gonna talk to me? Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Did you just finish beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck, huh? That'd be nice. Get in there, you. What? How many times do I have to tell you this? that room is absolutely off limits? If you want to remain on your fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that, it's too creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit, understood? Yeah. What you been doing, man? Again, dude? Man, they're just a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring the rules rules queen in here. Nah, I don't sweat at B money. <laughs> Joel Ink can't take that dude and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Oh, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Well, he's gonna get banned. Hello? Hmm. I wonder if there's any secrets around here. Nope. Hmm. Well, let's keep going then. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Dead bones. Oh, no. Wait, five turns or less? Okay, I can do that. Okay. Just need... Coops. Yeah. And a good night's rest. No. Not yet. Yes. I'll follow him later. And good night. And where? Yes, I am. And I got a coops. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm so ready for y'all. For our next battle, we got the merciless execution of the great Gonzalez. Hey. The bone banging rockers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the dead bones. Yeah, I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. We're gonna take the skin off your bones. Okay. Get yourself ready to battle. Yeah. <laughs> that sound. That looks like what he says. Win five turns of fewer. I got this. With the coops. Stylish, yeah. That was very fewer. <laughs> that was very, very fewer. We got ourselves a winner. The great Gonzalez. Coops did everything. We, we won? Cool. Coops did everything there. Jeez. Here's your fight money. Thank you. I'm gonna get paid. Yeah, yeah, you just be leaving. Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G, man. You're the real deal. The realest I've ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, just tell them King K said back it up. Bizzo. Ah, hurts. Keep quiet. Oh, my foot. You're fine. Shut up. Applied pressure. Ouch. Do we have a gag? Maybe. Come on, get a grip, will you, mommy? Out of the way. The heck was that? Sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey, man, this is a brutal sport. Sometimes you know, this stuff just happens. I mean, yeah. Okay. So can I leave? Oh, yeah, I can. Hmm. No, I'll just keep going. Okay, we'll be doing. Okay, next opponent will be... Spike Storm. Now let's listen, son. This battle, you be sure to be sure to use a partner skilled at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to see your partner show off their stuff, too. Okay. Well, I'm going to need to her to tattle, so that's important. Hello. 
Match time. Follow me, boob. Sure thing, boob. <gasps> y'all. Ooh, I haven't tied on y'all yet. For your next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Spike Storm. Come on, Mario. Let's get this over with. We're gonna spike bomb you into submission, punks. Get yourselves ready to battle. Eh. <laughs> it looks like what he says. He's a partner move at least once. I shall hit you with a hammer. Very hard. <gasps> Nothing. How are you gonna do that? Stylishly. Oh, it's painful. Match of PSA attack is very different. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, all their damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That, how do you flip them over? Jumping on them is point blank stupid. Or it's just plain stupid. Using power blockers, I'm out of item. Alright. No! Well... If you can attack, well, no, I got a tattle on him. Because I just want to tattle on everybody that I haven't tattled on yet. And do it stylishly. That's a Lakitu. It's a member of the Koopa clan that rides on clouds. Match HP is 5, attack is 2, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiky eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiky egg, you'll take damage. Don't do it. Spiky eggs surely hatch and it's spiny, so beat off in the car. Okay. This book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny heads? That's fair. That's a fair question. You know what? I'm gonna spin jump it. Yep. Yay! I did. Ow! Wait, did I lose an item? Um. Sure. Let's just do this. That worked. Neat. Cool. Literally. Yeah! We got ourselves a winner! The Great Gonzales! See? No biggie. Here's your five money of ten coins, Mr. Gonzales. Hooray! Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Cool. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item that uses a mystic egg. Did you know that hot dogs can restore your HP and FP during a match? That's some serious nourish. I'm not sponsored yet, just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. You gotta snack one out. I think I might. I think I might get the hot dog. What's going on? Hello. Oh, everyone wants a piece of rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah. Because everyone loves rock. Alright. Well, good for you. I'm going to go out here. No, stop that at once. This behavior is unacceptable. In a food stuff, I insist you desist. Hmm? What the... What is that? No, please, come back to me. Someone help. My rare imported egg has escaped. Please catch it. Eh. Eh. I'm gonna get you. Oh. Hey. I'm gonna get it. Absolutely unacceptable in the pilot society. I insist you come down at once, egg. How am I to reach you up there? Fly like a common sparrow. How do I... I know how to get it, though. Don't get me wrong. But I know... I know a little thing with that. With the... I know that's how you get the Yoshi. I know, I know that's how you get the little baby Yoshi partner. But I'll be back. Yes. I, yes, I would like to go to Rugport, please. I'll be back. 
Everything else is going to please take it. Please got your separate with the board. I'll be back. I wanted to upgrade Flurry. Because I didn't do it in the last episode. I'm here to upgrade Flurry. Yes. Flurry needs to be stronger. Yes. Shazibi. Shazubi. And... Sham Wowie. He's a total sham. I feel like I can do it at least one more time, but they won't allow me to do it yet. Return someday. I might. Back to Glitzville. Okay, I'm back. And now I gotta get the egg. Now, I know about the Yoshi thing. Okay. And I know you can get it in different colors. I don't know how to pick different colors. I don't know what dictates it. And I kind of want to hope if I can get like a purple one. Or maybe like an orange one. Maybe that does something. Hmm, now? You don't want to be eating, little darling little egg. Mario Han, what do you think we ought to do? Should we help? Let there be hot dogs. Nah, I'm gonna help the little guy. Well, if that's the way you feel, Mario, then I suppose we must help. You, sir, Mr. Proprietor. It looks like the egg doesn't want to be eaten. It's okay to be free, this poor soul, yes. Oh, very well, Farin. I suppose there's not much market for the cuisine that jumps away. Well, that's just lovely. Loverly. You're free to do whatever you like, dear Egg. Farewell. I want to stay with you. Hmm? What is that now, dear? You wish to accompany us, a you adorable thing. I dare say this little dumpling wants to stay with us, Mario. What do you sh shall we do? Okay, can follow us. I'm ready to be a dad. You're okay, little one, but do try not to get underfoot, alright? Alright. I, I really... I don't know what causes it to change. Oh, neat. Okay, what are we doing? Mm, next spot it will be... And forward, let's pay it. The hand it overs. Now this is on this battle. I want you to let, your, uh, let yourself get damaged at least three times. It's just so dang boring when it mashes with two one-sided. Alright. Okay, then. Hmm. Alright. Let's go. Oh, is the egg coming? Is the egg standing there? Aw, oh, y'all. For our next battle, you gotta get to get Gonzalez. The Grim Death Burglars. Yep, the fight to the finish with the handed overs. Mario, darling, are you quite ready? <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready to battle! <laughs> Switch. Well, you see, I would, but I... I want to get to know what these guys are, you know? I need knowledge. This will give me Ferraris. That's a bandit. This scumbag tries to bump you and grab coins, jerk. Aw, what? You want it? If a bandit steals coins, you need to defeat him before he flees to get your coins back. No! Okay, fine. That's all you get. That's all you're getting. Multibonk! That's not a multibonk. Okay. I'm gonna do your tremor. Stealing my coins. Now. Huh. Huh. 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ah, darn it. It's too quick. Well, thank you. No! Now, switch out. That's a can! Get him! Now, if I was, go I was gonna switch to Flurry. Yeah, establish. And did four. Oh, look at that! Ooh, five star points. Loan level up soon. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Anytime you care for another lesson, we'll be here. Here's your five money of ten coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Hooray! Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Okay. Did you hear the latest G-Man? My boy said they just saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice bar. She likes juice. I like juice we already have so much in common. Check her out for me. Oh, man. Mm. Well, last time you said to do something, I got an egg. So I feel like this time, we should do something. Come on, egg. Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion, the fighter long since lost. He's shown truly the and brightly. Many fans still think that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm the one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. Everyone's talking about this Prince Mush guy. Well, whatever color Yoshi I get, I'm kind of hoping it's not the red one. Because I think that's the that's the default one. So I'm just kind of hoping for that. What are you doing? Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, have you ever heard of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? No. Yes, it's a place of rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These fascinate me, so I wander around. Well, so how about you want to hear about... Oh. Hmm. The sealed wall. They say a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Oh, yeah, that's with the hammer. Don't say the remains of fallen athletes are stored there. Uh, Mandine Toilet? What? They say that one of the arena's bathrooms, a Mandine Toilet, lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything, anything again. Where's their bathroom? Stairs of mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit in the, with the second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that the groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. Haunted bedwall? They say the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you still say, still, if you keep still in the room, you hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost a champion. Anything else you want to know? Spooky ring light? My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light lurking, leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He could see inside the doors were locked. I have a plan to investigate this myself. Uh, the missing ones? They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, wherever to, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Marsh, was spirited away this way. And Grubba Jolie? Grubba's a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's so he's past his 60s. Jeez. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's a matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited to come, come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's a stranger that's... You think it's a stranger that someone's talked outside her bathroom? Good point. No, you're... 
They are weird, huh? I forgot to tell you. I think they're real. I think they're sketchy. I smell a rat behind all of this, and someday I'll solve all these mysteries. Hey, if you ever want to hear about it, okay. Where's the bathroom? Well, boy, Hattie Gonzalez, fixing for a fight, huh? Okay, then your opponent will be the Mind Bogglers. Now, this is on this battle. I want you to avoid using any of them flower points. What? Oh, you heard me. All right, fine. I like those, though. Gonzalez, mash down. Follow me, boob. All right, boob. Hmm. What if the egg has something to do with the mystery thing? Oh, y'all. I don't care about y'all. Oh. All right, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be fine. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get ready to battle. Eh. I don't care about y'all. None at all. Okay, fine. Oh? What you got for me? <laughs> oh, look at that. Nifty. Hit. And there we go. Bingo time! Yay, bingo! I got bingo, finally! Oh, is that all I get from bingo? Oh. That's a little disappointing. Fine. Yay, level up! Ooh, what should I get? Hmm. Should I get more star points? Or, uh, I think I should get more FP because I kind of run out of it quickly. But patches are nice. Yeah, I think I'll get there. It's fair. Yeah, no, that's fair. Cool. We got ourselves a winner, the Greg Gonzalez. See? No biggie. Here's your five money. Twelve coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Mario's ranking rolls a 13. Listen, man. Keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, I, well, my future might get shorter, you know? So after the next match, I'm gone. Hey, it ain't cool to quit and run, that's for sure. But you know what? That's a laugh, Double G, man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget you want to be king. Okay. Well, I don't know where they'd be. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna fight. Ranked match. Yeah. And your spawn will be... The Punk Rocks. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once. Oh, really? <sighs> Fine. Oh, look at that. It's all smash time. Follow me, bub. All right. Egg, you stay here. For an SBA, we got the Merciless Executioner. Yeah. The Green Torture Squad. The Punk Rocks. We aren't gonna lose the eyes of you. This no take long. This end in pain for mustache. Get ready, cells. To battle! Eh.
Then I shall use paddle. And do it savagely. Uh, yeah. HP 3, attack 2. Uh-huh. Hyperversion can build up its energy, boosting its attack. What? It has a low HP, but its body is rock hard. It says here that I am attacks are pretty effective. Okay. Now I'll see what I can do. Yeah, it is this. Ice Storm! Go! That was insanely easy. All right, then. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What do you expect? We rock. No, they rocked. We rolled. Hooray! Ready condition, blah, blah. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. One more, then we reach 11. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. The battle avoid using your jump. No. What? No jumps. <sighs> Fine. Maybe using my jumps. <laughs> Follow me, bub. Fine, bub. Let's go, bub. Yeah. Yeah, 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 us. And then the big bombers. Yep. The bomb squad. Ah, it's not that bad. They're fine. They're fine. Get ready yourselves to battle. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, no. Here we go. And you're going to tattle. Because I must know. Oh, I should be four. Fine. The amount of blow up and the slightest contact is on attack record. Alright. Quick hammer. Go. Well, that good. Well, don't do that. I mean, I did it, so yay. Now we rank up, yeah? We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. See, no biggie. H5 money, 12 coins. Oh, I'm getting rich. Hooray! Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be going. Aw, oh, do I have to be ranked 10 to get to the next one? Okay. It's quite lonely without King K around bomb. No lonely. Him too weak. No, him not here. Sound normal to Kleftor. You are in bomb denial, Kleftor. I saw you weeping in that locker. Bomb bomb! Hello! Who that? Well, here we are. This is your locker room. We're st you're starting in the minor league, of course, as you just now started your career. If you don't like the dingy room, I suggest you work your way up to the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just use this log on Commander Terminal here. Mr. Grubb will then decide do you match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen. Okay. Use Terminal now. Don't you understand the basic instructions, sir? Swoop. Well, hi, sir. Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a tree for you. Your first battle against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Okay. Uh, detailed rules. So, this dialogue wasn't special to me? 
Good about to at this point, just waiting security comes. Okay. Um. Okay, but why do I gotta keep hearing this? If you satisfy the condition and then rank goes up and you hire your opponent, if you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the major league. But I'm at, I'm 11 right now. I'm 11. Um, hi guys, yeah. My name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean, nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> you. Yes, you. Sir Swoop. Time to get better, bub. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. He won't last five minutes. One more. I want to get to the major league before I end it. One more. Come on, Majors. Well, dog my cats. If it ain't the Great Gonzales fishing for a fight, huh? Yucky, who we? You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is. Rank 10 in the Glitz Pit in the Iron Andes Twins. That's right. You're darn tootin'. You're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you. Don't you go letting us down now. Now listen, son. In this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. The crowd loves a tag team, and they want to do partner skill stuff, too. Now get in there and put your partner to work. Okay. I want to go. <laughs> okay. What's good, bub? Let's go. I'm ready, bub. And now, today's main event, the Major League awaits... <gasps> 11th ranked Greg Gonzalez, but only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouse of the Iron Andes Twins. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here. Folks, the Greg Gonzalez. That's me. Hello. Kick their iron tails. Love that mustache. Oh, they, uh, that's my favorite guy. Hooey. The Greg Gonzalez, how are you feeling? Like a doof. <laughs> Just perfect. Thanks. Yeah. Whoa, Nelly. You heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Who are you? Good gravy. Who are you two? <laughs> Yo, the challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron and his twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros, and, and they stink. I did not say that. That's lies. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. I didn't say that at all. Uh, yeah. And then he said, Audi belly buttons run in their family, stink wads. What? <laughs> and so on, yep. What? How does he know mom and has an Audi? A jerk. We're gonna blend you up in a smoothie, pal, and you're gonna drink you. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call another people smelly stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Simmer down there, bro. You stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Salt Island. These spice? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in your short time you have left in your functional brain. Oh. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yeah! Ooh. Well, I might have to use items then. We're gonna do it. We make the major leaf. We win. Get psyched, Mario. Blah, blah, blah. Give up now. Well, Stinkwaz, you're about to learn about the skills the hard way. Okay. Hmm. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tackle like this. See? And we're gonna know what we're dealing with. I'm sorry, what? Why do you have... What? That's an ironclad cleft. That guy is scary, period. Max HP is 6 and attack is 4 and defense is unknown. What's with this book? 
It says no attack will work against the Iron Cliffs. It says nothing in the world is as hard as the Iron Cliff, so its defense is impregnable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with another one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Wait, can we, can we actually run away? Or is it like... Hmm. What about lightning? What about items? Ah, what? <gasps> no! Bad. Okay. Well, what about Star? What about Star? Let's see. Might work. Oh, I got that one. Oh, I got it. Ah, darn it. I got pretty close. Ooh. That didn't work. I wasn't going to tattle on them. Need to know. Stash. That's not a cleft. The green shoes mean he must be the younger brother. Still unknown. What's this bug? It says no attack war against the iron cleft. It says nothing in the world is hard as the iron cleft, so its defense is impregnable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with one another. Running away would not be a bad idea at this point. Can I run away? Is that a possibility? Get out of here. Well, it just says no attack, Will. Can I run away? Maybe I can. All right, let's try it. Oh, I did. Ah, oh, okay. We got ourselves a winner. The Iron and his twins. <laughs> How do you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, we have a bath and... We have a bath and come on back. What? What? We have a bath? Here's your fight money of one coin, Mr. Gonzalez. No. Your rank will remain at 11 because you lost a match. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Okay. Hey, check it out. The little eggy friend is gone. Didn't see that coming. Or going, for that matter. Where do you think it went? Uh -huh. Yo. Yo. The hatch? We got pink! Gonzalez! Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatch. Safe and sound. Thanks, man. Oh, what? You were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be chance, right? You want a crystal star? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me out of the old hoggy out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Oh, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I came out of that egg, so I guess I'll have to become a name. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Hmm. What do I name it? Oh, you're pink. Pink. Punk. Okay, I got it. Cory. Because, like, coral. Cory. Yeah, I like Cory. Hmm, Cory, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzales, let's get out of here and do some do some damage. Yay! Yoshi's not your friend. He'll answer to Cory. He's a pink little boy. Yoshi's ability is a primer. What? Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Okay. <gasps> Neato. That's nifty. Okay. Yeah. 
I've mastered them. Hooray for me! In a battle, he can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move or use gulp to inhale enemies and hold and spit them out of his massive damage. Oh, okay, so that's how we do it. Nifty! I like it. Cory, you're gonna be a fun addition. Yeah, I like Cory. Well, honestly, I think we should save Cory's debut for next episode. Yeah. All right. You know what? I don't mind the pink. I was kind of hoping orange, but I kind of like the pink. I feel like not that many people get pink, so I'm cool with that. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're not. It really helps out. Really do appreciate it. And maybe leave a comment too. Yeah. Did I pick a good name? I think like I did. Yay. Yay, Cory. Cory, Cory, Cory's in the house. And he's got it going on, yeah. But, more importantly, I just hope you guys have yourselves a good day, week, month, whatever. Just make sure it's a good one. Yeah, Cory. Cory. Urgh, Cory. I'm so phased. I'm so phased. Look at me.